When I was a boy, my parents called me by a nickname, The Professor. A rather ironic nickname for the fact that my father grew up in Nigeria and my mother in Israel. Neither of them ever had the opportunity to go to high school or college, so they never worked under the tutelage of a college professor. Yet that was the name that they gave me, their young son. It was a nickname I was pretty undecided about as a kid and didn't give much thought to until I got a bit older. And that's when I began to wonder why. Why did my parents call me the professor? Was it because I said I wanted to be a professor? No. Actually, at that point in my life, I knew. I was going to be an NFL football player. <laughs> the only thing I didn't know is that I only grew to be 5'8", as you can see, so that dream died pretty quickly. Was it because I was smart and thus destined to be a brilliant professor? Again, no. I was actually a pretty average student with average grades. I was even in remedial reading classes as a child. And that's when I realized it. I realized that the answer to my question lied in the question, and it came in a single word. Why? My parents call me the professor because of my inquisitive nature, my willingness to ask why. Why is the sky blue? Why is it that when I mix baking soda and vinegar, I've got a big mess I need to clean up? I always ask why. And when I got an answer that didn't seem right or there was no answer, I went and searched for it. I created my own solution. See, that's what I think everybody in this room today has in common. Our common bond is that we are inquisitive in nature, hungry for knowledge, never afraid to ask why. And when we do ask why and there is no answer, we don't get worried like most people. No. Instead, we get ready, ready to push the envelope, innovate, and create our own solution. That is what has allowed us to be successful until today, and that is what must lie at the foundation of our tomorrows. Because in the next phase of our life, the enemy of why becomes what. And the what's are many. What is the solution? What do I need to do for a promotion? But the problem with asking what is, it replaces your ingenuity and creativity with a simple checklist full of tasks. When what is the question, you find that days quickly turn to weeks, weeks to months, and months to years. And you find yourself looking back on a career, full of accomplishments, no doubt, but without direction, without progress, void of a true purpose. However, when the question is why, it's like magic. Everything changes. When you ask why, you challenge yourself and those around you to look at things from a different perspective, to get to the core of the issue. When why is the question, each day has purpose because each day comes with solutions. And when you look back on your career, you see the makings of people like Edison, Eisenhower, Einstein, people that have changed the world that we live in today. That has always been the legacy of the question why, and that is a legacy that we can choose to lead if we just choose to ask. So thank you. Thank you for listening to me today because I think this message is important. Congratulations. Congratulations on this accomplishment because no doubt this is huge. And today is a day that we will remember for the rest of our lives. But please, please, when you wake up tomorrow and every day thereafter, never forget to ask why. Because you never know. It just might be somebody in this room who asks the right question, works hard enough to come up with the right answer, and totally changes the world as we know it. Thank you. Jacob is a Marshall Scholar and will be spending the next year at the University College of London. Thank you, Jacob. Good luck and congratulations. Thank you very much.